Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking about periods. So I have done a few videos kind of on this topic before, and they've not been quite so broad, so I will link them below if you wanna check them out, but for today's video, I just wanna go over all things period. Maybe not quite all things, but I'm gonna go over different period products that there are out there, and I'm also gonna go through some kind of tips and tricks that kind of help me during my period. I did cut my hair, I cut it. I think I need to go shorter. You know, does anyone else do that? When you cut your hair, you like are really nervous and then you realize that you just need to go shorter. Anyway, everything I mentioned in this video will be linked and listed below as well as any discounts or other info I can find on it. So be sure to check the description box. Please give this video a thumbs up if you decide that you enjoy it at any point. And let's get into the video. First up, let's cover period products. That's probably the most obvious thing that most people are gonna be looking for. So I kind of have a product in each category. Let's start with tampons. So this brand is Cora Tampons. They are a tampon subscription delivery service, which I think is extremely convenient. When I was a tampon user, I would always kind of forget until the last minute. Then you have to kind of like scoot ass to the store, buy tampons from some probably not wonderful brand. There are certainly so many different options out there but Cora has been kind of the best one I've come across. They do a lot of kind of charitable work as well. I will link all that information below but essentially you purchasing their tampons for yourself means that they can help women in countries without sanitary products. Not only supply them with pads to use but also with the means to make those pads so it's kind of boosting their economy at the same time. I will link more info on that below but I do think they are a great brand. And this is what the tampon box looks like. I mean, come on. This is what the packaging itself looks like, very discreet, you know, simple, plain packaging. And they also will send you a couple of these kind of cardboard tubes too, if you wanna keep a couple in your bag and have them be even less obvious as to what they are because although I don't think we should be kind of ashamed of what we're going to the bathroom for, I know that some people aren't super comfortable grabbing a tampon or a pad and going to a bathroom. So they do have these little cardboard things too. Also nice if you want to pass one to a friend. So they are organic cotton. They do a lot of charitable work, which I think is awesome. So I do think they're a great option if tampons are what you're looking for. The next option I want to show you is from a brand called Flex, who have very kindly sponsored this portion of the video. So in my previous videos, when I have talked about kind of period products before, a few of you had asked about kind of disposable menstrual cups or menstrual discs, which is what Flex is. As far as I'm aware, this is a kind of newer product on the market. I've certainly not really seen it before, so I was really interested to hear about it when some of you had asked my opinion on it and asked if I had kind of come across them or anything. And then when they contacted me, I thought that was a great opportunity to be able to kind of show you them a little bit more and talk to you about them a little bit more. So the brand is the Flex Company and the product itself is called Flex. They come in these little boxes and then each of them is wrapped in black packaging and what's inside the packaging looks like this. So it's a disposable kind of tampon or cup alternative. I know a lot of you when I've talked about cups before have said that like you felt like it just wouldn't work for you because you don't wanna have to be kind of emptying it and cleaning it in public, in public restrooms I mean. So that was when some of you had brought up this product before. So it was designed by women. You were able to leave this in for 12 hours, which let me tell you, very convenient. And then obviously when you do need to change it, you just remove it, put it back in the packaging it came in, put it in the trash, and you put a new one in. Again, this is a subscription service, so they are shipped straight to your door, which again, very convenient. You don't need to think about it. They will just arrive on time and you can kind of adjust how many you need, but you get a box of eight. So that would be like for a four day span. Since you only need to change it twice a day, and what I would recommend is doing it in the morning and then at night. So yeah, very convenient. This will look a little daunting to some people because the ring itself does look quite large. Now it's not gonna kind of sit inside of you like this. It will obviously shape to your body. Now everybody's body is very different. It might be that you've tried alternates and they've not fit you well. So something like this might be worth a try just because it is going to sit right up there and catch everything. So I also think if you don't quite feel ready to jump into using a cup, something like this would be really great to kind of just get used to using a product like that. And it might be that you just prefer this and stick with this. It just gives you a chance to kind of get to know your body, which I do think is very important. These also do not affect your delicate pH balance 
downstairs, which is of course awesome, and they are not linked to toxic shock syndrome. So if those are concerns for you, which they are for many women, a great option for that as well. They are hypoallergenic, vegan, and they're also BPA phthalate, did I say that right? And latex free. And they do create less waste than tampons. So again, another great way to kind of transition to something a little different if you are just tired of tampons. And another cool thing about this is that it's the only kind of menstrual product, as far as I'm aware, that means that you can comfortably still have sex while it's in there. So because it sits higher up and directly under your cervix, it's out of the way, unlike with a cup that kind of sits a little lower down and is obviously hard on the bottom. So it's gonna take up more space that way. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I do think there are a ton of reasons that this would be really great to try for a lot of people. Like I said, they are disposable. So if kind of emptying it out and changing it is not gonna work for your lifestyle, I think this is a wonderful option for that. Also just to kind of get to know your body a little bit better if you wanna transition into just different things that are not tampons. There's no link to toxic shock. It's not gonna mess with your pH balance. So if those are concerns or problems that you've had in the past, wonderful option and not like anything I've come across before. And also the packaging. That's beautiful. They do have an animated instructional video on how to use Flex, so I will link that below and save you from my weird, you know, hand things that I do to try and explain stuff. And I will also link you to a video of the founders talking about the product and kind of answering some frequently asked questions as well. You can get your first box for free. That will be at the top of the description box for you. And past that, you can sign up, like I said, for the subscription, which is super convenient, which is $20 a month and you can alter as you go. And that does include shipping as well. So yeah, definitely an awesome product that I was really intrigued to have a look at and try out. I will put a little bit more information on my Instagram after my first few uses to kind of let you know how it's going. But in the meantime, like I said, all that information will be below and I do think that there are a bunch of reasons why this might really be awesome for a lot of people who kind of feel like there just isn't something that works for them right now. So the third option I wanted to show you as far as period products go is something that I'm not very familiar with, but I did just order one to um, be able to show you because I did think it was a great option. So this is period underwear. There are a few brands that do these, I'm just not super familiar and I know that Thinx is like one of the more popular ones or one that I've seen a lot about anyway. They have a bunch of different options as far as styles go. I know that they also brought out some for kind of active wear and stuff like that, but the one I grabbed to just try out was their thong, which I got in a size small because I know some of you might ask. Looks like a fairly typical thong. The waistband feels really nice and soft. It's just kind of like a thin lace material. And then the underwear part itself, you can feel that it's like a little bit thicker in this part, obviously, because it needs to be able to absorb blood. Doesn't feel like it would be uncomfortable or kind of be too bulky or anything. As you can see, it's very, very thin. I think that their different styles do absorb different amounts, so you can definitely check out their website to see which one might suit you best. But I believe that you can wear these for like light or medium days without anything else, or you could pair these on heavier days as kind of like a backup with another period product, whether it's the disc, tampons, whatever, to catch any overflow, if there might be any. I also think that these would be great to wear the day that you're expecting your period as well as maybe like the tail end of your period where you're like not sure if it warrants a tampon or whatever. So it says that they are moisture wicking, antimicrobial, absorbent and leak resistant. In other words, they're period proof. And each pro you buy also helps girls in the developing world. So they're another kind of charitable brand. So the thong itself was $24 and then I think shipping was maybe six, but I do think I got like the quicker shipping so that I would have it in time for this video. So of course I will try this out and let you know how it goes, but I did just want to be able to show you a pair and kind of like tell you how it feels and looks and everything. It does seem like it's well made. If you do have any experience with any of these products I'm mentioning, definitely leave it below in the comments. I believe that you can just wash them as normal. I think probably what I would do would be to maybe like hand rinse them after each use and then put them um, in to be washed just because I don't know that I would want like blood sitting in them for a few days until I do my laundry. So that's something I'll definitely look into. And like I said, if you have any info on these, leave them in the comments. And then the last option, which I have talked about a bunch before and I will link my previous videos on is of course the Diva Cup. This is what I'm currently using, but obviously I will be trying out some of these other products just to give you guys some info on how that went. It is in this bag. The reason I'm not showing you is because it does slightly discolor over time and I feel like that would probably like gross some people out. It's it's not like horrific or anything. I actually will show you guys for a split second. So if you don't want to see it, then obviously 
you know, close your eyes for a minute. But if you do, then I will show you right now. So as you can see, just a very slightly yellow tone to it. That's obviously because it's sat in your body in blood for, you know, however many days a month. I do boil mine before and after each use, um, just to make sure it's nice and clean. Be careful if you're boil. Oh, by the way, if you didn't wanna see it, you can look back now. If you are gonna boil your menstrual cup to clean it, don't leave it unsupervised because you may boil your cup, like boiled. So yeah, like I said, I will leave my videos on that below if you do wanna see them. I'll also put a clean new Diva cup on the screen so you can see what it looks like. I will leave a video I found super helpful below which shows a kind of clear model of a woman's anatomy. I'm showing a cup go in so you can kind of get an idea of <laughs> how it works. I'll link that below along with my videos. I yeah, did just want to mention that and I also wanted to mention the little case that I keep it in. This is from Thread of Roses on Etsy. I do have a discount so I'll put that on the screen and down below. It's an awesome girl that makes them. She makes a bunch of other stuff too but this was actually meant to be like a beauty blender bag. So it's just a canvas bag and then with a kind of toweling lining so you can put your like freshly washed cup in there and it will obviously dry in there too and it has a little air hole so it can air out. You can use it for a beauty blender or your menstrual cup and I just think it's a really convenient little pouch so I did just want to mention that and like I said I do have the discount so I'll leave that below so those are the four options that I wanted to show you I don't have any pads to show you necessarily and that's just because I quite honestly haven't used them in forever I do know there are a bunch of kind of reusable options I don't know if that's something I would necessarily look into myself but if you do have any information on that please do leave it below any other videos you guys want to recommend as far as as, you know menstrual videos products go please do leave them in the comments so big thank you to flex for sponsoring their portion of the video I do think that's a really cool idea and I do think that a lot of people are gonna find this really useful in their kind of quest for finding something that works for them so thank you flex and for now let's move on to my kind of bonus tips and tricks for period time so the first one which is probably a very obvious one for some people but I definitely did not do until I was much older is to track your period there are obviously a ton of apps out there one I would recommend is Aunt Flo. It's just a super simple app. And I do also think that they are a charitable brand. So you do have to pay a little bit for the app itself, but then they do give back. I can't remember what the deal is. I'll put it on the screen and also down below. So super simple, tells you when your period is coming. You can click on the little calendar. It will tell you when your period is gonna be, when your fertile days are and you can also track if you've had sex too so this one is really good whether you just want to track your period for the sake of it whether you want to do it to kind of avoid having sex on those fertile days and also if you're trying to conceive too it's pretty good because it is just going to give you that kind of window to aim for another really good one which doesn't look quite so sleek this is one to use if you are trying to conceive is glow i think it has like a bunch of community stuff on there too so if you do want to speak to other people also trying to conceive or what might have worked for them you can do that and it does give you a little bit more information as far as your kind of like percent chance of getting pregnant on any given day both good options i do think aunt flo is a little bit more simple a little bit more sleek looking and then glow is going to be if you are trying to get pregnant and you want like a bunch of stats and overwhelming stuff like that so obviously super useful like i said just so you know when to expect your period days you should avoid having sex days you should maybe try and have sex if you're trying to conceive and it's also really helpful for if any problems arise to do with your menstrual cycle so that when you go to the doctor you can tell them exactly when your last period was or how long your last cycle was because i know at times before i had maybe had issues and gone to the doctor and they might have been like well how long is your average cycle or like when did you last have your period and i just was like uh, a number of weeks I don't know so super useful for that and like I said I do think Aunt Flo is just a nice simple easy one another obvious one is to stay hydrated especially around your period if you are kind of like very crampy or uncomfortable being hydrated is important all the time but especially then I will link you to my favorite spiky water bottle below if you do want to get something cute to kind of remind you to drink more so obviously just regular old water is going to be fine but also I like to try and have cranberry juice every day not cranberry cocktail has sugar and crap in it. Cranberry juice is a great option because it is a natural diuretic so it's going to kind of help with any water retention or anything like that. As well as replenish, I think it has potassium, calcium and magnesium in it. So those things are helpful in general but they are also helpful with cramps too so hydrate, 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 hydrate. Very important. And of course cranberry juice is great if you have any kind of reoccurring bladder problems like um, urinary tract infections and stuff like that. 
The next thing I want to suggest is to utilize heat. This is a really obvious one, but sometimes I feel like during your period when you're really miserable and crampy, doing things to actually help you just, just seems inconvenient sometimes, doesn't it? So if you do get a lot of cramps, aches and pains, I would recommend getting yourself a nice hot water bottle. This is a heart-shaped one I got from Amazon. It's womb-sized. It's perfect. So when I'm on my period, if I get a lot of cramps, I will fill this up with hot water and then either put it down the front of my sweatpants or if you do get cramping in your back, you can obviously put it in the back too. I do just think something little like this is really convenient. Like I said, you can just ram it down the front of your pants and it's very helpful. So another very important one is to get comfy. I know for myself that sometimes if I'm on my period, just the thought of being like touched by clothes is just like, no, it's too much. So if you are able to and you're at home, definitely just put comfy clothes on. Don't feel like you have to like dress up or wear jeans because jeans plus period, worst ever, I would say. So if you want to live in sweatpants during your period and you are able to, I fully support that. Kind of on the other end of the spectrum is to exercise. For some people this is like a hard no, absolutely not during a period, but other people love to work out because it does release endorphins and it's kind of like a natural painkiller that's going to make you feel a bit better. I would say I do sometimes think like on the first day of my period it's a definite no, but then like the second and third day, sometimes I do just enjoy to have like a good stretch and kind of get my body moving. If you're not sure if it's gonna help you, I would say just try stretching first, maybe do some yoga. I know Sarah Beth Yoga on YouTube, she's my favorite. She has videos for everything and they get real specific. So I do think she has a period one, which I found to be super useful. Just try something like that and see how you feel. And then you might want to kind of ramp up to something a bit more high impact, or you might just want to stick with stretching. And I also have a theory that like walking or running or, you know, things that kind of jostle your womb might make your period go quicker because it's just going to shake it out quicker, you know? The next one, which I know a lot of people do struggle with and have kind of asked me about, is skincare. Now, what I do is kind of alter my skincare a few days or a week prior to my period. Especially now that I'm not on birth control anymore, I do notice that my skin is much more affected during my period, so I will get breakouts. Really kind of painful, big ones, you know? It might just be like one, but it kind of consumes your whole face. So I believe what happens is that your estrogen level drops, giving way to the testosterone, which makes your skin So what I will do is switch my usual toner, which is the Lush Breath of Fresh Air toner. Still a great toner regardless of whether you're on your period or not. I will switch it to a tea tree water one for, like I said, a few days before and for the duration of my period. And I just kind of feel like making small changes like that does kind of help combat it. So I will use that morning and night. You could also just mist it on your face if you want to. And any zits that I do have, I will treat them at night with salicylic acid as well. So I usually will do my salicylic in the morning all over my face just to kind of help any little general breakouts or pore size or anything like that. But then during my period, I will also spot treat at night with salicylic because it's super helpful. I will link you to some of my favorites on Paula's Choice below. Another thing I've noticed about my skin is that I think I'm more likely to pick at my skin right before or during my period. So that is definitely something that I know I need to kind of get a grip on and just like stop myself outright and just keep spot treating. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed that you do that, but if you become a picker around your period, try and stop. And then I guess if all else fails, I usually go for a little red wine and dark chocolate because in my head, it's slightly medicinal. Of course, don't do that if you don't drink or are underage. But for me, drinking a dark red liquid when I'm on my period seems replenishing, you know? And of course, chocolate. Chocolate always helps. So I think that that's it for this video. I did just want this to kind of be like an introductory period basics type of video. If you think I've missed anything out or there's anything that you just cannot live without around your period, please do leave it in the comments below and start up some conversations there. I do love to see you guys helping each other out with this stuff. And of course you help me out too. If this is something that you'd like to see um, become more of a series or if there's any topics you want me to kind of try and cover and collect some information on, definitely let me know. I would love to do that. Again, thank you to Flex for sponsoring their portion of the video. It was really great to be able to dedicate a little bit of time to a product that I am certainly not not familiar with but a lot of you had kind of asked questions about so like I said the link will be below if you want to get your free trial and all the other information I talked about please do give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video bye and it also doubles up as a hat